My guest for the morning, Eric Chum, is the vice chairman of the MPP for the Trobu constituency. And um, he's also a businessman uh, and a marketing person. Uh, thanks for joining me, sir. Thank he you. will be joined um, subsequently also by Member of Parliament for Jaboso and Minta Kwabna Kando will be joining us shortly. Now, uh, we, we have to, uh, today we're basically talking about the economy, etc. But there's something that has been of focus, and, and I know my colleague was discussing it with the Consent Teachers Association of Ghana. It's about um, the Wongbo demonstration that your party convened the last time. Uh, that was on Wednesday, right? But there were some students or pupils of primary schools, etc., who were said to have also somehow joined along the fray when the match seemed to have been uh, passing just in front of their school. What's your own take on this very subject? Well, um, thank you. Good morning, good morning. Uh, to the viewers. Uh, I'd say that um, I was actually part of the demonstration. So, and to be honest with you, I saw just about a few school kids who actually joined. And they didn't necessarily actually been joined. What happened was that I think that we got to certain places and was very close to the school. And I mean, I think that, of course, as children, they got a bit of uh, uh, zealous and then ran to shake the hands of the flag bearer and a few of the um, party executives who were actually in the front. And for me, I think that, I mean, if, of course, um, I hear that the head uh, teachers of the various schools have actually sent a letter to apologize for that happening. And as far as I'm concerned, that's where we have to live. I mean, um, if you're not careful, um, it gives an impression that um, just by the fact that it was an MPP demonstration, uh, these head teachers are being unduly um, ostracized. And it's not something that I think we want to encourage. Mm. Of course, if they have their uh, internal disciplinary measures, it should go on. But as far as I'm concerned, mm. nothing untoward happened. Okay, let me and ask you this. Um, at the time that you were part of the line, marching through the routes that you had agreed on with the police, etc., hypothetically, you go to the school, you saw the pupils perhaps joining the fray. What do you think would have been the response? There was not a single student that actually joined the procession. No, I know. What happened was that, uh, I think a couple of places that we got to, you realize that it was very close to the school gates. So they were hailing? They were hailing. Some of them actually were Come peeping the through. Compound. Yes. And then, like in every um, environment, you would get a, a few of our zealous ones who actually ran to shake the hands of the flag bearer. But that was an extremely very short a period. So they were not essentially part of the demonstration. Mm. And like I said, um, if the various head teachers have sort of uh, admitted that maybe um, it wasn't something that should have happened and they've apologized to that effect. Honestly, you, you think really the case should be closed, but for you, the politicians, uh, kind of add a lot more to the fury in itself or even the whole atmosphere, the euphoria surrounding the demonstration at the time, no, especially having No, but if I was, I was a strategist for the NDC and the government, I'll probably not make an issue out of this because what it really means is that we are still talking about the demonstration and the real reasons why we went for the demonstrations are there and the students, even the kids themselves, are very much they aware. are not oblivious to what's going on in the country, right? So they sleep in, in darkness. So you're saying if you, yeah. if, if you were a government communicator or the NDC, you should be worried. That, yes, exactly that. That, 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 that kids the, the very objectives of, of the demonstration is, yeah. is, is just not among the public sections of Well, so now I'm, I'm actually putting my communication and PR mm. and marketing mm. hat on. You are basically re-emphasizing the fact that the demo happened mm. and it was such a huge... So basically it's just reinforcement. Exactly. So for <laughs> us, they're doing our work for us. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> right? As far as I'm concerned, if I was a strategist, why I would not even be prolonging this thing because it's irrelevant. At the mm. end of the day, like I said, we thank, thank God nothing really um, untoward happened. The head teachers themselves who have a responsibility for the children when they are in the schools have come out to admit that maybe it shouldn't have happened. It's time to move on, mm. right? For me, I see it as a government's basically an attempt by the government to sort of divert 
attention on the real issues why the demonstration actually took place. It's much ado about nothing. That's what you're saying. As far as I'm concerned. All right. We'll have to take a break when we come back. The member of parliament for Jaboso will be joining us for the discussions and Menta Kwabna Akando will be our next guest. We'll stay up. And uh, Jaboso member of parliament is in the studio. He's also a member of the MPP as well. And Minta Kwabna Akando. And before you came in, sir, we're discussing the subject of um, um, pupils, I think, along some of the schools in Accra. Uh, who perhaps also not joined in the demonstration convened by the MPP on Wednesday, the Wongbo demonstration, but they seem to have fraternized and, and been led on at some spots sporadically. Uh, and f following that also, we've had some fury over the reaction of the Deputy Minister or the Minister of Education. Uh, well, and the criticism is also that they should just allow the GES to follow due procedure, etc. What's your own thoughts on this subject? Yeah, yeah. I believe you've been monitoring that uh, for the last few hours since thank you. the discussion started in the media. Yeah, thank you so much. And let me first and foremost apologize for coming in late. And uh, also to do a quick correction, I heard you saying he's, that uh, he's also a member of the MPP. And I'm not oh, NDC. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a member of the NPP. I'm a member of the NDC. Definitely. Yeah. I wouldn't have said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just... And uh, you see, um, the issue about the school children joining demonstration, I think that irrespective of a political party you belong to or the political party in power, if something is not good, it's just not good. Uh, we must condemn it so that um, anybody, it will serve as deterrent to anybody who probably might have the intention of repeating it. Um, we, I don't think that any parent will be happy to see his or her children participating in a demonstration that he is not aware of. And so it is not something that we should even attempt to defend at all. It is condemnable and we must all condemn it because once you, you send your children to school, they are under the care of the, the teachers, the headmaster or the headmistress or the teacher or the authorities of the school. And I do not think that the, the authorities of the school will convey a PTA meeting and tell the parents that, look, we are allowing our children to join demonstration, the MPP demonstration. And so if um, we, 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 we saw anything of that nature, it is something that I think that it's a very bad news and we must all condemn it. Whether it is the ministry which will deal with it or the GES that must deal with it, at the end of the day, it must be dealt with. That is the most important thing, whether it is GES or the ministry. What we need to do is that we must deal with the issue so that it will not be really okay. Mm. Yeah. But don't you think, as far as what the critics are saying, that you should just let it go? Uh, you, you, you seem to be making a meal out of nothing, really. We should just let it go? Not That's necessarily in terms of the procedures. That you not you should not, not say no, anything no, about no. it. You, you just have to let the procedures of the GES follow. Just like any other perhaps act of indiscipline that may have occurred and not come into public scrutiny, etc. And not make a meal out of it. Because it seems, apart from the Deputy Minister, we've had uh, constant comments and ranting on, so to speak, in quotations by, by NDC communicators. First and foremost, every Ghanaian has the right to express his or her opinion on the matter. Every Ghanaian. You don't even have to be in GES or a Ghanaian Education Service. Every Ghanaian Why? has the because, right. It's a, because it's to you the matter is distasteful or the actions by the people. That is what I started by saying that irrespective of the party you belong to or the party in power. If it is not good, it is not good for us. Tomorrow, if the MPP comes to power and then, uh, may God forbid, we are in opposition and we do say it is just not good. And every Ghanaian has the right to express his whole opinion about the matter. And look, uh, Roland, you would agree with me that in this country, the bastards are the minister or the president. Anything, sometimes, in my, in my opinion... In this very matter, doesn't the bus stop at uh, the, the, the doorstep of, of, of the director general? I'm of the saying Ghana that education. anything that has to do with education and we want to criticize, it's, we will criticize the minister. In this Akando, is, 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 can't you just equate and this... And sometimes by, a, by can't you, attention to the president. Mr. Kando, can't you just equate this to any action by, let's say, an indisciplined teacher who may have, for a long period, absent him or herself from post in many respects? And so even if a teacher absent himself... The deputy himself, minister doesn't come I'm in saying in that even if a teacher it. absent himself or herself from a school, the, the minister or the deputy minister has no right to comment on it. 
Recently, well, well, he recently the minister organized well, he a can. press conference. Well, he can, but in many respects, they don't. <laughs> Whether in the, in the minority or in the majority, they, in as much as the minister has a right to comment on it, in this case, he has commented. Look, very recently, the, the, the minister organized, herself organized a press conference, and he was uh, uh, um, rebuking teachers who are fond of absenting themselves from, the, from, 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 from school. And you heard it, it was all over. Mm. So I don't see why this is different. All right. You understand? So for me, what is important is that we all should join in condemning it and it must not reoccur. Mm. We'll talk about